Hello viewers, welcome back. This time I will try to explain the second law of thermodynamics, which basically explains the entropy or theory of this order of a closed system. So what does that mean? I prepared for you three videos which I am going to show you right now. Okay, and how these videos, these stupid things I did, basically I poured out of the water from the glass, I broke a ceramic tile and I burst or exploded the balloon on the floor. So the second law of thermodynamics says that spontaneously, so spontaneously these things cannot be undone. Yeah? So you cannot unbroke the ceramic tile. You cannot pour back the water spontaneously back into the glass, as it was done in the other way. And you cannot uh, unexplode this balloon and get back all this together and the water inside of the balloon. These things cannot happen spontaneously in a closed, isolated system. So that's the, that is what the, basically this second law says. And now if I, on the side, show you this reverse video, so the re reverse process to be vivid, cannot be done. So these things cannot go in the reverse way. So this is um, actually explains the irreversible processes. Yeah? So that's it. So that's the second law of thermodynamics. Second thing which this law says is that the heat cannot spontaneously uh, go from the colder system to the hotter system. Yeah? So, so it, can, it can only be other way around. So only hotter system can go to the colder system. Yeah? So that's, the, that's how in nature happens and in the whole universe happens this way. So for example, the fridge would be the example because we are, like I said, decreasing the entropy. Yeah? So we are making a colder system inside of the closed system. But this is not so because it's, it comes on the cost. To, to be able to make a colder system, we actually use a heat, the compressor which pumps the the uh, air inside of the fridge yeah, actually makes a heat and increases entropy in the whole universe by this process. So that means that, that whatever we do, whatever we do in our lives and around us, we increase the entropy of the whole universe. And that's basically it. So I think that was a pretty simple explanation with these three processes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.